Matthew chapter 16, verse 24 to 28. It says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man will come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he will reward each according to his works. Assuredly, assuredly I say to you, there are some standing here who shall not taste death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Amen. Um, so yeah, I think the scriptures that I really want to highlight um, is the, the first two. It's important to read the whole passage, um, but I think today I just want to um, focus in on the first two, which is 24 and 25. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Um, this year's pretty much come up to a big year. Um, um, Lena shared it, um, I don't know if she shared it on prayer, but um, we were talking and we realized that this year comes up to um, the 10th year of um, myself, uh, Lena, Crystal, and my older sister Lana um, since God used us to begin um, what is now Gen 12 Church. And um, we're just part of, you know, the, what God's plan. Um, but I realized, like, in all these years, um, it, it really came down to this scripture. Um, what we were taught from our parents um, is that to serve God is to daily make the decision to lay down our lives, lay down our desires, lay down our wants and our dreams, um, lay down our lives, like our complete um, lives and surrender to God's will, um, to pick up our cross like every day and make a decision to follow Him. Um, and 10 years, like that's, I, I think I don't really, I didn't really think of how much um, like the weight of that until Lena was talking to me about it, um, that it's very rare like where you find young people who um, who make that decision at such a young age and stick to it um, for this long, you know, and over the years it's been hard like watching people come and go and those that, you know, we thought were going to be serving alongside uh, with us, um, you know, and they, they've fallen away or um, you know, life has taken them in different directions. Um, but I'm, I'm just so thankful that, you know, God in His grace has allowed us to serve Him in this way um, and that we were able to do it together. Um, but yeah, it really all boils down just to this scripture, that if anyone desires to come after Him, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow Him. Is that every day, the thing that produces stability in our walk as believers is this. It's making the decision to die to yourself, making the choice to to let go of our own will and ask God to fulfill His will um, through us and in our lives. They wonder how they bec can become stable in their walk. Um, they wonder how, like, oh, how can I be consistent in, in my walk with God? It's this, like, there's no, like, shortcuts or special super secret like it's deny yourself it's surrender your will to god it's pick up your cross every day it's it's that it's it seems like you know this is so simple like but it's it's a hard decision but you have to make it every day that you wake up um and that's a decision that i've made in my life well, i have failed and i have i've had my moments of of weakness and and even moments of turning away from God. But the thing that has kept me is remembering to lay down my life again, to bring it back to God um, and to deny myself what I want, what I, my own dreams and my own vision and plans for my life. Um, because God's plans for me have been greater than anything I could ever plan on my own. Um, and that's just a fact. Sorry, I'm, I'm going on and on, but I just really hope that that um, encourages you um, to deny yourself today, to lay your life before God and allow Him to use it 
um, for his will and for his purpose. Um, and that's as simple as it is. Like if you want stability in your walk, it's it's pick up your cross every day, follow him, um, and, and let him use you. You know, Father, I just thank you so much, Lord God. I bless you and I honor you, Lord God. I thank you for your perfect plans, Lord. I thank you for who you are, Lord God. I just glorify you this morning. Um, as we come together in worship and we come together in prayer, um, we just surrender our lives to you today. I just thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing, for who you are, um, and just your sovereignty over our lives. Lord, may we not forget um, just how powerful and mighty you are, Lord God, that everything that we face and we go through is so minuscule in your presence, Lord God. It's it's so little, Lord God, um, that there is nothing Lord, that is too hard for you or too complex for you to understand or relate to, Lord God. You know all things. And Father, we honor you this morning. Lord, we commit our will, we commit our plans, Lord, we commit our day into your hands, and we ask that you would um, just let your will be done in us, Lord God, that um, that as we go to work or as we um, stay home with our children, Lord, as we um, run errands, Lord God, as we, whatever it is that we do, if we're meeting up with people, Lord, if we have meetings, if we have um, ministry moments, Lord God, I just pray, Lord, that your will would be done, that Holy Spirit, that you would speak to us, um, that we would allow you, Lord, and we would be sensitive to you, Holy Spirit. For you fulfill the Father's will, and when we allow you, Holy Spirit, to lead our lives, we also fulfill the Father's will. And so, Lord, t today we just commit our will to you, and um, we just ask that you would lead us, Lord, in our decision-making, both big and small. We thank you for your word, Lord. I pray, Lord, that today we would spend time with you, Lord God, whether it be listening to your word or reading it, Lord God. I pray that um, we would discipline ourselves, Lord, to spend that time with you, to learn about you, Lord. Um, you've given us these wonderful minds, Lord God, um, that you created yourself, Lord, and um, you've, I, I just pray, Lord, that we will challenge ourselves, Lord, to know you more, Lord God. Um, Father, we um, ask for your forgiveness, Lord God, if we've sinned against you knowingly and unknowingly. I pray, Lord God, that um, you would come and clean us, Lord God, with your precious blood. We ask, Lord, that you would forgive us, Lord, and we repent from our wickedness, Lord. If there's any addictions or things that, um, sin that, um, people are struggling with, Lord God, in secret or even out in the open, Father, I pray that today will be the day, Lord, that you would set them free. Today will be the day that they would make a decision, Lord, to let go of their Egypt, Lord, let go of the things that they were once bound to, let go of their old prisons, Lord God, um, and that they would step out, Lord, into your presence, Lord, that they would be made new by your blood, Lord Jesus, and that as we make the decision to, um, um, lay our lives down and pick up our cross, Lord, that you will give them the strength, Lord, to say no to sin, Lord, that they would um, be edified, Lord, and encouraged, Lord, um, to become overcomers, Lord God, um, which is what you've called us to live a life as, Father. Um, I just thank you for their lives, Lord. Help us to forgive those who sin against us, Lord God, um, who have hurt us or wronged us in any way, um, just as you forgive us constantly, Lord God. We ask, Lord, that you would just have your way. We give you all the glory and the honor and the praise, Father. I bless you, Lord. There's nothing we need to worry about, Lord, for everything is in your hands, Lord. And your plans are so good, Lord, more than we could ever imagine or understand. And so today I pray that you would remove any worry from anyone who um, is stressing, Lord God, or have concerns. I pray that you would reveal yourself to them, Lord, as um, the provider, as the way maker, Lord, as the one who is in control. So we give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone says.